But while the ushers are part of the parish ministry, you see them here. And I wanted to let you know at the usher banquet on uh, uh, this past Thursday, Chip Meyer calculated that you have passed out or received 14,000 programs this past year. I'm sure you're keeping them all up to date at home. And that means 16,000 people at least have come through these doors and into our social hall who have seen the ushers and our greeters. And what I really like is that in the act of passing the plate back and forth, the plates have gone 20 miles. <laughs> so if you benefited from any of those things or took part in any of those things, make a noise. Excellent. As a sign of appreciation for those ministries, I invite you to do this. Goody, 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 goody. Matthew, I forgot. I should give you a different one. Oh, yeah. You know how to give a big hand? A big hand. A big hand. Ah, that's another one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so use that one next. Hi, I'm Paula Rollins. I get to talk. Sorry. Um, before I introduce our parish ministries, I just wanted to let those of you who didn't know already that I'm the coordinator for the Beyond Sunday programming, and that's Beyond Sunday Shared Ministry, which is really what all this is about. Um, and before this, it'll tie in later. Um, before I worked here, I designed landscapes, gardening, that is. Um, what you might not realize about our Beyond Sunday is that it's not only our districts. They're real visible, and they're real active but it's much more than that. Beyond Sunday Shared Ministry is any contribution, each of the minutes of all of our lives, our passion and our heart. And every time we share a part of ourselves, we're growing our garden here. Perhaps it's only a few minutes or one effort, one single seed, or maybe even a handful. Feeling the ground for fertile soil where passion can root, here. Maybe it's several times over the year, sprouts. Having found fertile soil, now seeking the sun and the rain to grow our spirits. And those who serve on a regular basis, and there are a whole lot of us out there, uh, monthly, weekly, <laughs> some even daily. <laughs> um, passion and spirit shared through the nourishing fruits and inspiring blossoms of our maturing souls. I love the harvest season. I always feel nourished by the beautiful successes and I revel in the tasty rewards and there will be some out there later for you. And I finish with relief and a rest season. We're gonna do that real soon. Um, and I always think hopefully of what I would change and do a little bit better for next year. And as the growing season nears again, I start chomping at the bit. I seek those heirloom seeds and new plants to try, and I look forward again to the growing season. This is our Fountain Street harvest season. We celebrate our own success today with joyful gratitude and hope you'll use your new pen to mark on our scroll. This will be in the social hall on the panels afterward. Please mark where your seeds have landed. We'd like to see your names where all your seeds have sprouted and started to grow here this year. Our parish ministries, uh, our staffers for the parish ministries are Heather Beretta, and you've so seen her already today, and myself. Um, and that includes, I can't read them all, there's so many, but the hospitality group, ushers, care, the districts, parent circle, women's association, all the committees, art and garden, and so many committees. Um, governing board, all of our office volunteers, our memorial helpers, bunches of people. Um, some of the things that have happened through these ministries this year, we've served at least 7,300 cups of coffee, <laughs> contributed over 3,500 cookies, some today, this afternoon, and 340 hours of hosting and ushering for more than 20 memorials this year, provided 650 hours of caring and support in meals, and visits and rides. And through more than 540,000 knits and pearls of caring stitches in our prayer shawls. 
We've supported the operations of our church, and I don't know how we would have done it without you, with 4,350 hours of meeting, planning, answering phones, sorting, replacing brochures, you can see some right here, working on doors, walls, pianos, organs, the silverware, gardens, and many, many more things. If you've participated in any of these ministries, click your pen. Give them a big hand. <laughs> Stay up here. Yeah. Our social ministries are perhaps one of the most exciting things we're doing these days. And Lisa Najeka is a volunteer staffer. She comes to work on time, stays late, and we don't pay her a penny. I think that's a marvelous gift all by itself. But she... She works with me and with our staffers, including uh, Kim Jordan and Gigi uh, Owen and others in our office to make sure that our ministry to and for the community grows and grows. They include our work with tutoring in schools, the Choice Fund, the benevolences of what we call the Pastors B Fund for those in the community, even Pastors A Fund for those in our, com in our own community, the Community Work Days, the, Le the, elder, the Longevity Elder Initiative, and especially the Social Action Committee. And they have supported our local folks in urgent need with a total of $2,000 toward housing, utility, food, and transportation assistance, donated 206 baby items, more than 4,200 4, food items, and served 2,400 meals for the people in the wider community. They've provided 6,900 hours on, of service in the community to local and state and national organizations here in Grand Rapids, but also in Washington, D.C., Arizona, Utah, and Louisiana, and we've distributed $39,000 locally, nationally, and internationally for health care, education, human rights, the environment, and housing in general. They just, you just finished up the last of the uh, grants just this week. That's wonderful. If you made any of that possible, you know what to do. Click your pen. And if you think that's cool, say, Brr. Brr. 